we know that nouns are naming words that name people, places, animals and things. Now let us look at the words here. Snow, crayons, students, sugar. Now all these words are naming words and are nouns. But among all these nouns, crayons and students can be counted with numbers. They answer to the question how many. We can say how many crayons. We can say how many students. Hence, crayons and students are countable nouns. Now let us look at snow and sugar. Snow and sugar are not countable with numbers. They do not answer to the question how many. Can we say how many snow? We do not say how many snow. But we do say how much snow. So snow and sugar answer to the question how much. Hence these are uncountable nouns. The names of objects, people, places or things that we can count using numbers are known as countable nouns. They always answer to the question how many. So nouns like plates, car, bottles are countable nouns. Whereas the names of objects, people or things that we cannot count using numbers are known as uncountable nouns and they always answer to the question how much. So nouns like porridge, washing powder, juice cannot be counted and are uncountable nouns. Now let us read this sentence. Washing powder are produced in the local factories here. Do you think this sentence is a correct sentence? Well, no. This sentence is an incorrect sentence. So what is the correct sentence? Our correct sentence would be washing powder is produced in the local factories here. So what do you see? You will see that uncountable nouns do not have plural forms and are always considered singular. Remember this, uncountable nouns do not have any plural forms and are always considered singular. Now let us look at these nouns here. Bread, milk, rice. Now these nouns are common nouns as well as uncountable nouns. So we cannot say one bread, one milk, one rice. So how do we write the quantities of these uncountable nouns? Let us see. To refer to a quantity of uncountable nouns, we use a or an with a countable noun, with of and then the uncountable noun. Let us understand this in detail. So when I say bread, it is an uncountable noun. And to refer to a quantity of bread, I will say a slice of bread, or a loaf of bread. So loaf and slice is the countable noun that we are using with the uncountable noun bread in this case. Similarly, we do not say one milk or two milk. We say a glass of milk or a bowl of milk. So we actually refer to the container of milk or we can also refer to milk with its measurement. We can also say a liter of milk. Similarly, we cannot say one rice or two rice. We can say a bowl of rice or a plate of rice or a sack of rice. So, you must remember that to refer to a quantity of uncountable nouns, we use a or an, whichever is correct, with the countable noun, then we use of and then our uncountable noun. Now remember, we use a or an when we are referring to a single unit, a piece of bread 
or a slice of bread. But if you are referring to more than one unit, then we will say five slices of bread. Now we can also use much, a little, a lot of, some, any, with uncountable nouns to show quantity. For example, we can say some money, we can say a lot of food. Now let us try to do this exercise. Identify the nouns and state whether they are countable or uncountable. The recipe of this cake requires butter. So let us first identify our nouns here. Recipe, cake, butter. Now let us see which noun is uncountable and which noun is countable here. Recipe. Can we count the number of recipes? Yes, we can. So this is a countable noun. Cake. Can we count the number of cakes? Yes, I can. So this is also a countable noun. Butter. Can we count butter with numbers? No, we cannot. Does it answer the question how many butter? No, it does not. So butter is an uncountable noun. Now let us do this exercise. How will you refer to the quantities of the following uncountable nouns? Dash cereal. The options given to us are a bowl of many. Now we know that we cannot use many with an uncountable noun. We use many with countable nouns. We cannot say many cereal. Hence the correct answer will be a bowl of cereal. Dash furniture. Options given to us are some eight. Now can we say eight furniture? No. Furniture is an uncountable noun. We cannot use eight furniture. We can say eight pieces of furniture. So the correct answer here will be some furniture. So what did we learn today? Today we have learned about countable nouns and uncountable nouns, what they are and how we use them in our sentences. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.